Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Balcony Workshop. I'm Pino here and today we are going to see what are different kinds of power tools that we have in a small workshop setup. Uh, in this video I'm not going to go in detail about any of the tools. I'm, I'm just going to talk about the function, how much, how much does it cost approximately. Uh, there will be a link in the description which you can go and check out uh, various websites from where I bought this so let's get to it so you can see there are uh, seven power tools out here power tools basically means that they run either in battery or power uh, or uh, electric power um, uh, in my workshop i'm just using all of them which are powered with electricity uh, i'll go one by one i'll be briefly giving you an idea of what it does and uh, approximately how much it costs so here is the first one uh, this is a electric drill so this drill this is a hammer drill so it can drill um, wood depending upon the what is the bit you have you can drill wood you can drill steel you can also drill into the wall so uh, so this is an extremely important tool that you should have in your workshop uh, and I don't think so a hand tool of this makes a lot of sense because uh, this is really versatile this is really important for any small thing that you have to do with any of the uh, any of the piece of furniture second one is an orbital sander uh, this is again from black and decker so uh, this uh, so there's a sanding tool and this has a uh, you see detachable pad you can buy this pad and this uh, it's called orbital random orbital sander because it randomly circulates the thing and you so your work surface won't have a lot of circular marks and this again this very useful uh, tool and it come almost completely eliminates the use of sandpaper hand hand sanding yeah so again and this is a jigsaw machine again from black and decker and uh, this you can use for cutting straight wood but usually this you would use for cutting uh, any any curved surfaces but this is extremely handy and uh, yeah again this is a very useful uh, tool to have a power tool to have in your workshop now the next one I'm talking talk about is a circular saw now uh, if you want to uh, do any straight cut in plywood or timber this is the tool this is a hand tool that you should have and uh, this is extremely useful you need to be a little bit careful you need to follow certain safety precautions much more than any other tool you would require but you need to follow a lot of safety precautions because this is a very high rpm machine and uh, there are possibilities of accident so again this is a very useful tool to have just that you need to be really careful while using it Uh, this made the company make is Stanley uh, now uh, this is uh, a plunge, uh, this is a plunge router you can make grooves in wood you can make side uh, patterns uh, edge patterns in wood and it comes with a lot of different router attachment and again this made out this is a Stanley make and uh, this is a uh, marvelous tool this you can do a lot of things with this tool with wood and some somehow it also eliminates uh, a lot of hand tools this particular power tool this is an electric planer so I don't have a manual planer I just use electric planer this uh, I can plane from 2 mm a point 2 mm to 2 mm with this uh, electric planer and 
uh, it does its work job quite well uh, yeah okay so now the next one is uh, angle grinder again uh, you have you can have a lot of different attachments to it can cut steel it can uh, it can uh, kind of level wood it can do surface finishes in wood it can do surface finishes in metal so here basically this wheel you need uh, different kind of wheel attachments for doing that yeah so i'll just roughly give you an idea uh, i as i'm talking you will see in the screen that there is um, there is the uh, link of the page of the website that is coming up yeah so you should get an idea of how much it costs yeah okay that's for uh, all the power tools we will be seeing all of these power tools what are the functions what are different kind of uh, ways you can use it what are the precautions that you need to have what are safety precautions what are the different materials you can work with what different steps you need to follow to get a particular result all that will be uh, that will be discussing uh, with each one of these tools in uh, further videos but for now i'll just say goodbye and uh, see you later bye